have a beautiful autumnal card for you and it uses this basket. I just think it's so fun to fill it up with different things. So we'll show you what we're using for today's video. We have this sycamore branch and I'll, I'll run you through how to color that with different ways and give it a really pretty look. The bushel basket and we'll do the assembly for you here. And I've got some mats and layers done with the double pierce square set B. Okay. So I think I will actually start with the sycamore leaf. Now I've gone ahead and cut one of these just out of coconut white card. I'm going to bring in some distress oxides, spiced marmalade. I'm going to use some peeled paint, some walnut stain, and some fired brick. Just give those really pretty um, autumnal colors. So literally just pounce a smoothie across with some color. Don't think about it too much. Just be very random with it and it just adds some color. There is no right or wrong to this. It's really, really easy to do. If you think about it too much, it becomes difficult. You can also just go back in and tone it down a little bit with some of the brown around the edges or you can bring in some of the fired brick around the edge. Really give it a nice look. A little bit more orange, sort of fill it in, get your beautiful autumnal colors going, and then just top it off bits of green, just till you get it all completely filled in. Super, super easy like that. So I've done several of those, and I'll put these to the side, and I'll show you what else I've done. Pop those out of the way. I'm gonna bring in a piece of copy paper for this. It's a tiny bit messy. So um, next thing I've done is just used a gold paint pen. Give it a good shake and probably oh, let's use let's use let's use a pair of scissors. So what you want to do is just tap it. And get little flecks of gold coming out all over the leaves. I can see it's coming out. Not quite as much on the leaves as I'd like. There we go. But it just gives a really nice little look. Oops. So you can see you've got some gorgeous colors. Now when that dries, it will look more like these that I've already got. So we'll go ahead and use these. Let me just do a quick tidy. Get some of our ink out of our way so we don't contaminate. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my card and we are going to use a couple of these branches up in the top corner. So I'll just go ahead and glue them into place. I'm going to come right along the edge here, about like that. And I'm going to put a second one out so it just looks like it's a longer branch. Just sort of tuck that under right about like that. And you can give the uh, leaves a little bit of a bend so it has that sort of natural look coming from it. And then we'll do one down the side here. I'm just going to put a little bit here because we can move the end of that if we like and just overlap those two. Now for the center, what I decided to do was create a little shaker card. So I cut a frame from the double pierced uh, squares. I've added a bit of acetate and I've put some mounting foam around it. So I've created a, a bit of a bowl. I'm going to bring in some clear microbeads and I'm just going to add a little scoopful, maybe one and a half. And some of the leaves I've already done. Now remember that's going to be the um, front there. So I'm going to turn these upside down and just sort of pop them in here. So I have a shaker with some microbeads few like that, maybe a few more here. Okay, and a piece of acetate across the back. So we'll seal all of that in, so carefully. Let me get a hold of that. Lift this up. And we'll encapsulate it with the acetate. There we go. Right over the top of that. And I'll give you a quick measurement on this too just so you know what size we've used. 
This is a four by four square. So I'm gonna put that right into the middle and I think I'll use some double-sided tape for that. Just right along the edge. There. Okay. So you can see we've got a nice little shaker going. So I'm just gonna pop that right into the center. I'll even lift up those leaves a little bit and have them sort of overhang it. That looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to build our bushel basket. So there's a couple little um, fold lines here. So let me just get that folded backwards. <laughs> I see a little bit of my gold paint splattered on it, but that'll actually add to the look, I think. And I'm going to mat it with the uh, same color, a little bit of a taupe card behind. We'll put that into place so it'll be solid. There we go. And I'm going to oops, bend the bottom upward. And we will just put a little bit of glue on this edge here and here and on the inside flap here and here. And I'm going to give that a second to sort of set up. I'm going to add the handle. And that's just going to sit right about like that. There we go. And I'm going to bring in a piece of mounting foam and we're going to put some leaves in there. Just push it right up to the top there. Give that a second. Let's see, and I think we could probably get all of this to stick now. Hold those down, hold these in place, and just give it a little teeny bit of a bow. Give it a little bit more of a fold, there we go. And we wanna add a little bit of ink to the edge of that just to give it some depth. Oops, hold on. Get my handle to stay on. There we go. So I've got some walnut stain. I'm just gonna kinda of go around the edge of the basket on the sides and on the bottom. Tiny bit, and the little slats that you cut separately we're gonna go around the edge there, add just a tiny bit of ink to those so they'll stand out a bit. And in fact, we can put a little bit of glue on here. Just let it start to get tacky. Tiny bit around the edge. Doesn't take much, there we go. Pop that on the top. Give it that old fashioned look. And this one will go right here. There we go. Always have to wait for the glue to dry. All right, so we have some leaves, so we're gonna just put them in. And I like to give them a tiny bit of forming, just sort of bend them a little bit. Gives them a very natural look to them. There we go. So pop those through. Just catch the edge of the mounting foam. And then we'll add a little glue to the back of those. And we can build up a few layers behind. Let's get some red ones in there too. Love having all the different shades. There we go. Tiny bit of glue on the back here. We'll put a few more behind. There we go. Just build up a nice little basket full of leaves. And maybe, let's see what this one looks like. There we go. Actually, let's go with the orange one. Okay, oops. Missed my glue. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pop him down in the corner. And I think I'll just use a little bit of mounting foam down here. He'll sit right on the corner. There we go. Okay. Now I've got a sentiment that I'm going to put here and it comes as a full sentiment and I've cut it apart. So instead of a stack sentiment, I'm using it across. So I've got thanks a bunch. I'm going to just use my tweezers, put a little bit of spray mount on it. And that will go right there in the corner. Give that a second. You get that little teeny A. That. There we 
go. And the last one here. that one right down there across the bottom and we've got a few leaves left over so I think it'd be perfect to add them around just like they've fallen out of the uh, the bushel basket there there's a couple here and maybe one like that sort of underneath and maybe an extra one right about here on the corner of the card. There we go. Popping out from the edge. I just love the way that looks. You've got a few more you can add around if you like, falling down, but you've got a nice little shaker card with all your beautiful leaves in it. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have so many more for you to see there. Mm -hmm.